I'm getting slightly bit concerned that we lost each other in this maze. Girls, Olivia, if I die, I love you. Maria. Today, our first stop is Monemvasia, which is southern Greece. If you haven't watched any of our other videos that we did during the summer, we wanted to give you a preview of what the fall and winter looks like in the Peloponnese because it's such a beautiful landscape with a lot of different little towns that are very good to visit regardless of the time of the year. Stick around, watch this video to find out more about it. And we have a few other places that we're going to be exploring. Enjoy! Enjoy the video! Welcome to Monambasia! Right here we're in a small town which is on a peninsula, kind of, but also an island off of mainland Greece. And it is a fortress, so it's a walled city which way back when in ancient times and more modern times as well, it acted as a fortress from a lot of different invaders and it's really, really beautiful. We're here on a pretty rainy day, but I like this kind of atmosphere by the sea. It actually used to be a part of the mainland, but during an earthquake in 375 AD, it separated from the mainland and now it's an island. So let's go see. This is such a cool little town, but how do you know to find your way around? It is so confusing where to go. There's so many little paths everywhere, but super beautiful, very impressed. Oh, we're on a journey right now, trekking to find that yummy restaurant with a beautiful view uh, and hopefully we'll find that but in the summertime this is so busy I lost them hopefully I can find them I think they might have gone this way should I go this way or should I go this way or should I go back where I came from everything looks the same you see what I'm saying when like it's easy to get lost here girls Olivia Claire, I lost them, and we don't have phones. Oh boy. At first I thought I was gonna find them. I'm getting slightly bit concerned that we lost each other in this maze with no cell phone service. Well, because the girls don't have a working cell phone yet. Huh. All right. Ah. I heard a voice. <gasps> She's right there. <gasps> I found her. No, I found you. I, looking for I was looking for you. Aww. The group has decided we're gonna go at the beginning of this town, of the walled town, and uh, because there were two restaurants open there, can't find anything else. And so, one that looked pretty and it smelled really good. The smells were amazing. Yeah. So. Let's go. Yeah, all right, let's do it. It's like a cream mousse with basil pesto. 
It's really nice. I haven't had anything like this in Greece. I really like being here in this time of year because pomegranate seeds apparently are in all the salads. So we have eggplant rolls, which is pretty much eggplant rolled up with a meat mixture baked in the oven. It's really warm. It's kind of what you would expect, but it tastes like home cooking. It's actually what, it's, what you want when it's raining outside. I ordered the pasta with mushrooms, cream, I think there's some cream, chicken, and parmesan. It's exactly what I was in the mood for. And the food's so hot and fresh. Okay, so all of the pasta here is made locally in the area. And this one is salmon, spinach, parmesan cream. And the pasta. It's delicious. The salmon is cooked so nicely. And the pasta tastes so fresh. absolutely magical and oh there's the kitty hi baby hi freckles <laughs> this is our new friend we made guys look how cute she is she's so unique she's a tiny baby oh hi she kept wanting to come into the restaurant <sighs> they all kind of just ran in but she was the really shy Aww. one we just finished lunch it was delicious and now we're gonna walk a little more uh, we've got our energies up because we're feeling a bit sluggish. So before we start exploring more of the town, we'll grab a coffee. And the cool thing about this is it's separated in two different parts. You have the lower part and the upper part. And back in the day in medieval times, Byzantine Empire and the different conquests the fortress has been through. The lower end, as you may have guessed, it was more like the common people, the workers, and then the upper town, it was where the nobles and important people with money would live. And then at the very top, there's a castle. How it all started, the ancient Laconians at the, at the time, they started making this town by carving it into the rock of this mountain and that's kind of how it expanded outwards and had more buildings built with rock and all that and, and then that's kind of how this town expanded and honestly walking through it it's like a journey back in time i know i say that a lot it's very well kept without losing its old character and feeling like you're not really in 2021 when you're wandering the streets of here unless you go in and you see computers in like stores but other than that it's like super cool definitely recommend this any time of the year is cool if you come the summertime it will get really hot especially if you come in august it's gonna be very crowded because everything is like so small but uh yeah all right, let's go get the coffee and continue on with our hike. give us for this video don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment it helps us out a lot when you like this video with a YouTube algorithm so you can push it out to more people like you that can enjoy our travel content and help us continue to travel the world and bring you with us so
down to where the port used to be. Uh, this was a major trading center. We haven't even explored half of it and we've been here for a few hours. Of course, I mean, we've been taking our time and that's kind of what you're gonna wanna do because it's so beautiful to make a few stops, eat, and drink some coffee with a spectacular view. If you wanna come here and rejuvenate and relax, this is the place, I mean, come on. So peaceful. Quite a bit of time to realize that this was up of an older fortress wall. Something needed to fall in order for them to realize and find the water reserves that the town had. We're on the actual wall of the fortress, the, the newer one, um, and it goes all the way to the top. It is very steep and a big incline and it's very windy trying to convince Olivia to come all the way to the top with me. Are you gonna be a chicken or come all the way to the top with me? I think she's gonna, I think we convinced her guys. Come on, let's go. If I die, I love you. Maria. I'm not letting her go without me. She came. And if you watched one of our other vlogs that we did in Peloponnesos, you might know what this is. There's a bunch of these along these walls and it's for the obvious reason to be able to tell who was coming, if the enemy was approaching and the door better be unlocked. We really want to know what's behind that door, but I think it's locked. It's locked. We risked our lives for a locked door. Yep, I knew we would. We didn't get to find out what's behind this door, but I think the view is definitely worth it. If you're here and you're not scared of heights and you have good shoes, I don't think it's slippery, but you need to have some traction because it's like an uphill on a tiny path with like a cliff. My life way too much to walk anyway but this <laughs> well that's a wrap for today in Monoplasia we had a really lovely day and we will see you tomorrow for a new adventure let's go